arrived at one of my personal favorite destinations when it comes to fishing and accommodation. It's Mazeppa Bay Hotel. Behind me in the distance there you can see the island. One of uh, the spots that created, probably the spot that created most of the PBs for shark anglers, as well as abundance of cob, garrick, and this time of the year you can almost start expecting a couple of yellowtail coming through on the spinning gear. But so much to offer here, all the different spots around this area. So over the next couple of days, we're going to travel around, try all the spots, look for all the species. As you can see now, well I don't know if you can see, but the water is brown, brown, brown. Four days of northeast, if not five. And the water is ice cold, it's brown. We're going to go out tomorrow morning and we're most probably going to get some raggies. We hope we get some really big ones, that's the idea. But for now, we're just going to enjoy the, the luxury of the order pleasantness of this hotel in every manner the food the nice gardens the tranquility and the real nice decor they've got that really suits any fishing expedition down to a tee so we're really privileged to be here and uh, always thank you to Mazeppa Bay Hotel for having us and guys if you haven't been here you haven't been fishing I must rate this under the top five spots in South Africa for especially big sharks to target them and the abundance of cob, your bronze bream, they catch a lot of whole junior, muscle cracker, the garrick, some fantastic catches on garrick, the guys come here on boards to, to just target garrick and cob and artificial. So really, really a top spot. So if you haven't been here, I haven't been here in quite a while, probably three years. So it's awesome to be back and uh, just here to have fun and catch a lot of fish. That's all we want to do. Now Mazeppa Bay Hotel offers it all, from self-catering to fully catered units. And make sure you fish a lot and work it all off, otherwise you leave weighing a couple of kilos more. With several facilities and activities for the non-anglers as well. Now there's something to do for everybody. From 4x4 trails, quad biking, hiking trails, the pool, tennis courts, kiddies play areas, daycare services, to mention but a few. Now the first morning naturally started off rather early. Not early enough in my opinion, but it's always good to have a bit of light the first time you fish a spot in a while. Our mission? To get those elusive cob on the first morning using paddle tail. This was also our first excursion to put the new Dawa Pro Rex at test. We started off at Tiny's Rock on the left of the island. One of the very popular spots to look for the cob. Well, for a cop, the best results normally come in the dark still or fishing late afternoon into the evening. Just a slow, constant retrieve to get that paddle of the paddle tail working does the trick. Sudden stop, almost like you're hitting a rock, and then the rock starts swimming. And that's exactly what it feels like when a cop grabs your bait. Good start for the trip. Um, a nice little cob. I reckon about two and a half, three kilos. Oi, and then I'm hooking our cameraman. Uh, a drop shot on the new Pro Rex, Diver Pro Rex. It was my third or fourth cast, Andrew. Yes, yes. And a nice little size cob we got on the drop shot. I'm going to look for a pool so I can we can film it in the light and show you guys the beautiful color. Okay guys, that's the one that did the trick, obviously the orange, but the Prorex has got so much movement on the tail here, you can see that, and then the glitter, and I'm using a mustard, one and a half ounce. Jig it. Let's get another one. On this particular spot, it was most effective throwing closer to the rocks where the white working water is. Also have a lookout for where there's a bit of a current where the water sucks back. Just on the outside of the foam or inside the working water. Okay, <laughs> that's why when you come to these spots, be 100% repaired. I just grabbed a couple of uh, drop shot baits, some of the new Pro Rex. So I only brought three and two down already. And there are rocks here. 
I'm going to try one more. But it shows you the weedless ones work very well for hookup because as I felt the rock, I struck it into the rock. Because when you're fishing with a cob like this, with a weedless, you have to set that hook through the bait. I'm using a fluorocarbon point uh, 55 five here. Yeah, I've got this pro rig, so I'm going to use uh, the kind of olive color, which is always good. All right. I have a couple of more casts before it's too light. And just try this nice olive color, kind of a mullet. All right, guys, well, two casts. That one got stuck as well. I think uh, the best would be to go a bit lighter here, like one ounce, like Andrew just suggested. But I think he's clever. He brings me to spots where I get stuck. So when we leave, he dives and goes and fetches with the drop shot. I bet you that's his plan. Can only be there. All right, guys, that's the quick morning spinning. We, I was spinning for about an hour. A couple of bucktails got stuck a lot here, but I think a lot of guys have got stuck here, so the lines, but mainly the red bait under the water. That hook jams in it quickly, so it's better to fish in the daytime, get used to it, to then come fish in the dark, and that will do going forward. And then I threw a couple of... Uh, Plugs quickly, but I want to get a sharp bait out the front and then wait for the Gary because sometimes we can see them and maybe pop around the rod there. That's the main size we get here, um, up to 10 kilos. That's this time of the year. There's a lot of them, um, those 3 to 10 kilo fish. So and they can come in shoals, you can get quite a couple of them. Andrew actually told me about one of the guys getting 13 in one morning. So very nice, remember, they are very slow growing fish, they only grow mature at about 9 kilos, 10 kilos, 1 meter in length. You're only allowed one a day if you're going to keep them. But they're all very slow maturing fish to become sexually mature. Um, which makes them quite a vulnerable species. Probably the, one of the most popular edible species in South Africa. Everyone targets them. So keep it in mind and look after them. But let's take a look at it. It would be great to put a... Boy. Put a, a chip on him to see where he goes now and release him if he's going to go into uh, darker areas. But that's what they generally do. Nice little dusky cob. Three years from now I'm going to come catch him here, he's going to be quite a bit bigger. 